Also tonight, Western New York is remembering an all-time great, the legendary Eyewitness News broadcaster Rick Azar. To those of us here at the station, he was known as the Dean. Rick died last night at the age of 91. It was Rick's voice that signed WKBW Channel 7 on the air for the very first time. That was back in 1958. He joined two other broadcasting legends, Irv Weinstein and Tom Joles, for an historic 30-year run here on Eyewitness News. He was also this station's very first sports director. The Buffalo Bills took a moment to honor Rick today, posting this picture on Twitter with the message, we express our deepest condolences to the family and friends of legendary sports broadcaster Rick Azar. And tonight, our sports director, Matt Bove, catches up with some of Rick's former colleagues to talk to them about the impact he had on Buffalo sports broadcasting. Captain Billy Shaw. Billy, well, Rick, it's been a long way and a long grind, and uh, we're just glad to be here. When Rick Azar spoke, Western New York listened. So how's the weather out there, kid? It is hot, and it is unbearably humid. Irv. In 1958, Azar signs WKBW-TV onto the air for the very first time. A few years later, he became the sports director, a job that he held for 24 years until he retired in 1989. He was a giant. He was a giant of his time. Bob Kaczynski worked alongside Azar for nearly a decade. To this day, those are some of his fondest memories. His motto for his employees was kill him with kindness. And that's what he did. Brenda Brennan also worked in the WKBW sports department. She said Rick was like a father to her and owes so much of her success to Azar's mentorship. As a broadcaster, what made him so special? I think that he just was so, he, what you saw on the air was who he was in person and there wasn't any change. He would tell it like it was and he would have insight and people knew that they could trust what he said. Sabres are going to be there at 4 o'clock tomorrow. They're going to be in the Ferris wheel? Yeah, they're going to try that Ferris wheel out, yeah. Is that part of their training? <laughs> I hope not. John Murphy would eventually take over as the sports director, a job he had at Channel 7 for 18 years. And as he took on that new role, he certainly knew he had some big shoes to fill. I, I was thinking about today, my mother insisted on watching the 11 o'clock news uh, on Channel 7 every night. She had eight kids. Why was she staying up to 11 o'clock to watch news? I don't know, but she insisted on it. And I think it was because of Rick. And I became a fan of Rick. And uh, uh, what he meant was everything, really. I think he set the model for what Buffalo sports casting was all about. That he did. So as Western New York mourns the loss of a broadcasting giant, his legacy and love for Buffalo sports will live on for decades to come. And I think his passion for the Bills and the Sabres and the game of golf um, showed through in everything he did. He loved golfing. He talked about it nonstop. And I'm sure up in heaven, he's going and hitting some holes in one. You know, Irv Weinstein always joked that of the three of them, you know, he was the hard hitting newsman and Tom was every mother's son. And Rick Azar was that matinee idol. He was a handsome, you know, good looking guy with a great personality. And uh, to know him was to love him. He was a good boy. We'll miss you, Ricky.